Hello everyone and welcome back to my leg room. I'm TJ the Brickwright and today I'm pretty excited because we are announcing the official end of the Minoc Squadron contest. But I do have some good news for everybody. The end is not this year. The end is actually next year. Uh, as of right now, we have five members of the squadron and four of those members are all from previous year's winners. But uh, we've been replacing the ones that have filled out the, uh, the entire squadron over the last couple of years. Uh, we've replaced the original Minoc 1, which was a ship that I built and designed, or I built that was uh, a commission of sorts by somebody else. And the other one this year was Minoc 4, which was a ship that my son Ben built for a Minoc Squadron contest, and I you know, since I control it, I decided that it was going to be an official set, an official part of my Minoc Squadron. But uh, next year, we will have to replace one more member of Minoc Squadron so that all of the members of the squadron will be voted on winners of the Minoc Squadron contest. And that is going to be our leader, once again, uh, Minoc 1. It used to be Minoc 5. So Minoc 5... Then one, Minoc leader, will be replaced next year. This will be his last year on the team. Um, and for those of you who don't know, this is one of the mini builds that were an exclusive set of instructions given out to everyone who participated in the contest. And this year's, so everybody who participated this year, make sure you check your inbox because you have an Minoc 4 who was replaced this year. You have a micro... Minoc 4. Um, the whole reason I started to do this was to make sure uh, building each one of the Minoc Squadron ships can get very expensive. There's a lot of black pieces, red pieces, and the builds are themselves are quite complicated. But if you can't, you know, afford the sometimes over a hundred dollars worth of parts if you wanted to order from Bricklink, uh, you can make little ones if you participate in the contest. And I think what we're gonna do next year, don't hold me to it, but I think next year, because we are going to be rounding out the Minoc Squadron with all uh, winners uh, of the contest, I think we're going to wrap up by uh, really pumping out a micro build for this year's winner, which was Minoc 4. Uh, so this is the old one. Uh, this year's winner of Minoc 4, and next year's winner, uh, whichever Minoc that turns out to be, and whomever ends up being our new leader. So whatever the new one is going to be, that one will hopefully will have too many builds next year. And if that's the case, what I'd like to do is actually send everybody instructions for all five of the mini Minoc squadrons next year. So even though this year you've just got the one Minoc 4 that was replaced, uh, next year, if you participate, you will get the entire set on the entire five Minoc Squadron uh, members, uh, all the current ones. And then if we uh, ever go back to Minoc Squadron, I think we'll do the same thing. But I have another announcement that will replace Minoc Squadron after next year, which will be the final Minoc Squadron year for the foreseeable future we are going to move into another squadron that will be the antithesis of Minox Squadron. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys that. And uh, to I've been working out some details. Some people have been suggesting some things. And we're still not 100% there yet, but there are a lot of really good ideas. And I want to thank everybody for participating in that. I also wanted to let everybody know, if you haven't seen any of the posts, I did win another trophy at Brick Slopes this year. This year, I won Best Star Wars Vehicle. And yes, that means that the last, you can see up on the, up the wall here, one, two, three, and now four years in a row, I have won Best Star Wars Vehicle. If I wanna to get to that fifth one, this is gonna to have to be a pretty big year. And I'm going to share with you guys a little bit of the theme for next year. I hope it's not, I hope I'm not sworn to secrecy on that. I don't think I am. But next year's theme for Brick Slopes is 
it's a pirate's life. So I think now that we've got a big Imperial ship, got a big rebel ship, I think it's time to move into some outlaws, some outer rim, shadows of the galaxy, if you were, if you will. But uh, we now have six trophies from Brick Slopes, all in the Star Wars theme. And we're going to go ahead and not put it up there because you guys have not gotten a video yet. So until we were able to show off the ship that actually won the best Star Wars vehicle, that thing can't go up on the shelf. I've got to make sure to get that out to you guys so you can see it. All right. <clears throat> That's pretty much it for today. I'm so grateful you guys uh, would be willing to check in with me. We have a huge slate of videos that need to go up. I'm hoping next week to have a uh, really refined set of instructions going out for the new Minoc 4. Uh, the winner uh, by Endigo Van Dane. Endigo Van Dane. And uh, really appreciate everybody who participated this last year. We had over 20 entries. It was absolutely fantastic. And I hope we can get prepped for the final Minox Squadron contest next year. It's going to be pretty big. Pretty excited. All right. <clears throat> but either way, congratulations to the most recent winner. I'm hoping to have a refined set of instructions, like I said, put out next week as well as a review of his ship, which I think I've kind of done in the past, but not completely. We also have a video talking about the new ship that won Best Star Wars Vehicle, which is the Y-32 Rescue and Repair Ship. And I know some of you have actually asked if I could do a breakdown of my Brick Slopes base build. Um, unfortunately, I can't keep it up. I had to disassemble it to take it to Brick Slopes, and now that it's home, I can't actually put it back up for a while because uh, it takes up way too much space. And I totally took over our our uh, front room this year trying to build it because I didn't have that much time. But I'm hoping with some new uh, strategic choices with my business. I'm going to have a little bit more time, so I'm pretty excited to share that with you and to hopefully get back into more of a groove of being able to make videos and things like that. And I'm sorry, I'm rambling, and this 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 video is way too long anyway. But um, just really quick, uh, I did want to show you guys that as of today, I had the old Minox Squadron, all five of them, in there. So we have uh, the old Minox 4, we had Minox, now Minox 1. We have Minoc 5, and then I can never remember which one of these is 2 and which one of these is 3. I think 3 is the Naboo Starfighter, and 2 is Grievous. could be either way. But I'm really excited. It's really fun to have all five of these guys uh, up on the shelf. And next year, everybody will have the opportunity to do the exact same thing, even if you haven't been able to jump in for previous contests. So... I'm pretty excited for that. I probably should have been doing that all along and just keeping up with the most recent <laughs> ship, but uh, eh, that's where we're at. Again, I apologize for rambling too much, repeating myself multiple times, but I wanted to make sure you guys understood exactly what's going on and check your emails because those emails should have already gone out to you today and have a wonderful day over here in America. It's actually a three-day weekend, so I hope everybody has a fantastic Labor Day weekend. And until we see you next time in the Lego Room, play and play well. Bye. It didn't work.